Hi there, Linda Lepatka here. I am working. I, I made a bunch of these little, um, you know, notebooks to tuck in my journals when I make them. And I want to put some decorations on the front of them. And so I'm working on some little clusters. I have a bunch made and I tried them out on these and they just didn't work. Well, this was about the only one that did work. I guess I made them kind of big, the clusters that I made. So I'm going to try to come up with some things. This one I did too. I just did the other day. Um, this was some paper from a uh, magazine, one of my art magazines, um, Somerset Magazine. And, you know, every once in a while you get some, you get a page that's paper. So, you know, you can see here that it was from paper. And then I just took some of my scraps and that's what I was working on was using my scraps. This is a little flower that I made. I painted some newspaper with some acrylic paint and um, just made a little flower for the front. And I really like that, but it might need a little label or something like that. And I did trace, trace. I did um, go to Tracy Fox. I think it's Tracy Fox's um, Etsy shop and bought some of the um, little labels. I, I thought they were so pretty and everybody's been talking about them on the website, so on you know the the videos that I watch so I thought oh they would be fun to use I think I like this smaller one right there yeah I think I'll put that one on there and then call that one done um these are the see this the thing is this is all just so much fun for me to make and then I have to make the journals to put them in <laughs> So I will see when that gets done. That might be the next thing. And I have the cat journals started, but they haven't sold at the place that I take them to. So I, I'm just gonna hold off on them, I guess, on finishing the ones I have. Um, so this is some Tim Holtz paper. And in it, I just used some different papers from my scrap bin and sewed it in. And I thought, well, a little piece of scrap lace from my scrap bin would work on this one. And, you know, it seems like when I watch the videos on doing clusters, there's just like three or four little pieces that people use. And this isn't going to glue down, is it? this here. There we go. Oh, we need some more up here. Maybe if I just put a bunch of glue on the top, it'll work. And then I, this is a little um, flower from... Yeah, these are from Simple Stories, and I had bought this because I had watched Felicia's <laughs> haul. I'm really bad about watching hauls. It's like, oh, I go right to Amazon as soon as I watch a haul, and it's like, I got to stop because, you know, a room only has so much room. So I'm going to put that on there, and I might put a little bow. You know, I don't want to make it too... You, dimensional because then you can't slide it in the journal. <laughs> it just doesn't fit. And um, the journals I make for myself, I like to make just all plain pages. And I know I've said that plenty of times. And um, I haven't put, you know, like pockets and stuff in it. But I think the next journal that I make, I'm going to use, I made a cover the other day. This is out of blue jean. And uh, this isn't going to be, I'm going to make this one to take to the shop. And this was just something I found in my bin of, or my drawer of lace and stuff. And this is what the inside of the cover looks like. And I'll also maybe three signatures in there. So that's probably going to be my next journal that I'm going to make. So um, 
It's nice to have a theme for your journal, but I don't always have a theme. And I think that one's going to have a lot of white or, you know, maybe coffee dyed paper and just a few flips, flaps, and folds, as Corey calls them, because, um, I don't know, I just sometimes think that it's fun to have blank pages to use. Um, I forget what kind of paper this is, but this is another little one with um, just different papers in it. So I thought a little butterfly, because these are all like <laughs> bugs, and maybe a little bit of lace, but I need a couple more things on there, one or two things. Maybe another Tracy label. That looks pretty good. I don't always like the real white, so maybe I'll just darken that up a little bit. Again, I'm going to put down the lace. Let's see, there is a right and a wrong side. I love these little pieces of lace. I just, oh, oh, so pretty. So I hope everyone's having a good crafty day. Um, I feel like it needs, I kind of like that. I kind of like just a little simplicity. I don't know. <laughs> so it's like a little specimen book. Let's see, do I have enough? A little bit more glue here and here. Okay, so that's two done. Oh, I did another one. This one is like a little matchbook cover, and um, oh, I didn't finish it. And I used, um, well, and I think it's an upcoming video. You'll see that I used this Tim Holtz die, and I just thought that'd be kind of cute on here. And just very simple, you know, just a little water drop. Maybe you could record, you know, your glasses of water that you're drinking or something like that in there. I don't know. Just fun little things. Um, so this is another like matchbook type book with, you know, some line paper in it. So this could handle something kind of big. Let me move those out of the way, see if I can find something big. So that's another one that I got done. Um, so this one, okay, I did show you that. Oh, this one could have a, a bird on it, but it needs more. Lots, oh, here's some really big pieces. That's pretty. Maybe put that on there. Put some lace down here. These are really fun, these little tags. Ah, do I want, I think I'll leave that nice and white like that since there's so much white in there. And this paper on the other side of it also has lines. So, you know, it'd be a great journaling spot. We'll put that on here. I just really wanted to get, these finished today, something done with them. I was using up my scraps and just putting together all those little booklets and, and I thought, oh, they'll be fun to use. And now I thought, okay, today's the day. After I cut out a bunch of those Tracy Fox things, I thought, all right, we're going to put these on here. Let's see. Does this have a right side and a wrong side? This is the right side. Would have been nice to have sewn that on there, but um, we'll see if we can get it to stay on there with glue. I probably need my clamps, don't I? Here. 
So to make the little books, I just pulled out pieces of scrap paper from my scrap bin and thought, okay, what can I make this into? You know, so this particular piece of paper, um, just guess I don't need the clamps. It just glued to that perfectly. All right, then we're going to put a little, little label here. Let's see that one. There's so many cute ones that, do I want a big one? No. I like the little ones, it looks like. I have some blank labels, you know, that I didn't quite know what to do with it. Now I see on these labels, I could just write a little, I don't know, a little something. Okay, I feel like, I guess that's good. Any little bit just adds so much to them, doesn't it? Okay, let's see. It's not a big one. And this is just, um, you know, like a little tablet that has graph paper. And on the other side of the graph paper, it's blank. So there's a lot of ju journaling that can be done with this. This could be a book that goes like this or like this. I think I'm going to put it like that. And I really like this one. So we need a little bit of lace or trim or something. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Let's, oh boy, do I want to ink this? Because there's so much white space in there. I know I want to ink this. And um, I'm not dipping my sponge dauber in the ink. I'm just using what's in there. So it's, it's really light. So that just kind of knocks out some of that really bright, bright white. <laughs> it's, we're going to do it this way because that just so many holes and this glue dries clear so that's always good I'm so happy to use these um, simple story pieces sometimes I get these things and think oh how am I gonna use that <laughs> now I got to think about how am I gonna use these little books but hopefully we'll be I'll be showing you different uh, journals in the upcoming months, and these will go in those. All right, another one done. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six so far. I'm going to leave that one on top. On and seven because I've already done that one. They have this cute little one with some green paper, and then this has just got some um, <laughs> some different paper. This page had a, a it's a questionable spot on it. <laughs> this is some old old ledger from a ledger book page, and I, this spot just kind of bothered me. So I thought, oh, I got to cover that up. Now somewhere I have a little tag that I can put in here. This is a little bit of that um, postcard that I copied off for one of my CW planner. And here's a little tag. This little tag is, it says Lang on here. So I had gotten these Lang note cards at St. Vinny's or something, and that works good in there. And I could put another, maybe what I could do is put a couple of these labels in there, or what else could I put in there? Oh, I know, I could put, or I could put a flower, or I have some, these little um, feather, uh, this was a graphic fairy, and I think I shrunk it way down and then kind of outlined it and 
had my scan and cut cut it. Maybe I should do this one in black since that's already black. Maybe what I'll do with this one is put it on the front of that envelope. Let's see how that works. If I put it here. Now I think I'm going to stick it in there and put something else on the front of here. Let's see. I could put a couple of those in there, right? So they could decorate with those. And then we have it here that's little. This little butterfly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Little butterfly. These are really fun, these <laughs> simple story things. Oh, that's so pretty. Isn't that a pretty flower? But just not, just not doing it for me. Oh, here's a pretty little piece of fabric. I could put that on there. And this, oh, I like that better. That could even be a tuck. <laughs> like that. Yes, I think I'll do that. This is some fabric from a friend of mine who makes amazing quilts. I know I've mentioned her before. And oh, crazy quilt. She does this stitching that is fantastic. Okay, so then we can put this in here like that. Oh, that's kind of fun, isn't it? So you have a little tag on there. Now we got to do the front cover. So after all that, we got to do it justice. So I want to make sure this glue isn't coming through here. It's got a little piece that needs to be cut off. There we go. Um, oh, I have another piece of that that I could put on the front. Oh, it's a little different, but... I like using a little bit of fabric and some flowers. And then maybe a little Tracy label. Yep, like that. So we're gonna do that. Um, when I watch Corey and she's doing clusters, she's like, just don't think too hard about it. <laughs> and it's true, I mean, you can, Think and think and think, which, oh, it doesn't matter. All right. Could make this a tuck, but these little pieces, <laughs> I was moving around my, I have my fabrics and sewing stuff in old suitcases, and I was moving them around, and these just kind of showed up out of the box out of the suitcase they kind of I looked on the floor and there they were and I thought oh those are so cool I gotta use those so I put them on my desk my poor desk it's like my idea space I find little things around the room <laughs> and it goes on my desk and then from there it can go anywhere okay so you're gonna need a bow too I think do I want this one on it? Oh, that's really pretty too, isn't it? Yeah, I think I want to switch gears, put this one on. Now I might need to add a little ink because my dauber's getting pretty dry. It's amazing how just a little bit of ink on the edge of these where the white space is just makes a big difference. I know Kat Han and Pam at the Paper Outpost, they're all about using what you have and it's so true. I was just, Pam uses like a lot of um, art, you know, the Nouveau and the um, Stickles. She uses stickles, and those are things you have that you forget to use. Oh, this is kind of 
not even sure what this is. You know, sometimes this is like a raffia. Sometimes I get a package and it might have, you know, raffia or something tied around it. And I'll just take that and put it, you know, in this jar that I have of all these different little bits and bobs of ribbons and lace, little end cuts of stuff. And that's what I'm trying. That jar is so full. I really need to use some of it. So that's what I'm doing today. I really like having my monitor here because it's, I can see <laughs> kind of what I'm doing a little better. So I'm just going to cut that like that, put that on there. I want it to be, I don't want it to be too um, bumpy. Like I said, it's got to be flat. If I'm going to use stickles at all, though, I need to do that very, very last because I am just awful at <laughs> sticking my fingers in it. Okay. Oh, I like that one, too. So that one's got the little tag in it and another little tuck in it. So that's kind of a fun one. All right. And I have this one. And I already did one of those. That one I did with one of my um, clusters that I made. Let's see. That one really matches a little too much, doesn't it? Let's see. Here's another big one. This is too big. Isn't that pretty? Oh, oh. these are all so pretty. Now here's a nice size one. That's pretty on there. So I'll need a little bit of lace with it. That lace. Mm, oops. I don't know that that's. Well, that's okay, isn't it? A little bit of lace and a Tracy label. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, I think I like that. And I think I'm going to leave the white space on that one, even though this isn't real white. See, do I have something else? I made some little books like this out of Christmas paper because every, well, yeah, at Christmas time, or I try to do a countdown to Christmas with my grandchildren and send them little bags of goodies to open every day until Christmas from December 1st. And I usually have like a little journal book with it. And they're supposed to, you know, I might put a guess, guess what, you know, is in the bag because they're little sealed bags. And so I made those little notebooks for them. Yeah, I guess that's okay. I'm not, I think I like the other lace better, but this is glued down now. So maybe I could put I could put that on it, too. Why not, right? This is a really, like, stiff lace. I don't know. This was some kind of doily or something that I cut up. <laughs> ah, the memory is gone. Because the background of the book is so white. I don't feel the need to ink around this one. And then I have a little label that I want to put down here. So now, <clears throat> if I, like, let's say I make a bumblebee journal or a bumblebee themed journal, I could just add a bee, bumblebee, to this. And I have a lot of bumblebees. <laughs> well, this one, I might need more glue and I might need to put a clip on it. I have three more, this one and this one, which are very similar. This was a Corey idea where she just took her little strips of stuff and, and this has got all kinds of different paper in it. Um, I might wanna round out these corners. This is an old file, part of file folder left from when I was making those 
embellishment pockets. Maybe I should get that box out. That might have something better for on that. Okay, so we still have some of these that I want to use. Nope. <laughs> it's funny how you just put something on there and it's like, yeah, that's not going to work. That's too much the same color. That's too big. Let's see how that works. Let's, oh, this one's really pretty too. This one might be too much of the same color. These, all these flowers are just so beautiful. Um, what do we have? We have another piece of this. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Some lacy stuff. It's another piece of this. And maybe another label. Yeah, I kind of like that. I, it feels so strange to have this so... You know, I think I need to do some stamping on there. These really old stamps from close to my heart that have some neat, you know, like patterns and stuff. Um, there's one. This one's like printing. Here's the one that looks like sewing. I've got layers and layers here. This might be kind of fun to use. This is vintage photo. Um, and I think I want to use second generation. So I'm going to have to get out a piece of scratch paper and see. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is stamp it off on here and then stamp it here and then stamp it here. There, that makes me a little happier. It, it, just all that blank space just kind of was bothering me. Okay, so I'm going to put that there, but I had some lace. I am just going to try to visualize where that lace is going to go and get it down in there. I didn't want to cover up all that. Um, are those lines, but the lace, you can still see through it. This is really the fun part. Once you get over the initial, oh, what am I going to put on it? Because <laughs> sometimes that just is the hard part. All right, I want to put a little bow on this one too. Something about these long stems that I love just call for. Gotta put a bow on it. Let's see. I think this linen bow is just not that big and I guess it's you know whatever feels right to you. I just hope that it feels right to everybody else or someone else that that may own this at some point. I'm going to put a big puddle there because I um, just feel like I want this to really glue. There's that one. I like that one. Okay, so then there's this one. I really like these flowers. Oh, and these flowers. Well, that's kind of pretty, but again, this one, I don't like all the blank space. Let's see, should I put a different pattern on there? I think I'm going to use this one. Even longer block. And again, I'm going to do the same thing where I ink it up and stamp it off on scrap paper and then stamp it on there. Because otherwise, see how dark that is? I don't want it that dark. Just enough little bit of ink to fill up those spaces. 
Yeah, like that better. <laughs> I like it better. I don't know if you like it better, but um, I don't like that because of that. Let's see, that's some fabric. Don't think that's the one. More of this. <laughs> keep finding more and more of this stuff in there. I don't even remember cutting it up. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. Remember, she said, Corey said, don't think too much about it, which is hard not to do. <laughs> and I'm already at 46 minutes. Good thing I know how to fast forward. <laughs> Uh, I'm just running it over the whole bird just to get some of it, knock down some of that white. Yep, that's what we're going to do. I think this needs to be a little bit darker, just a little bit darker. That's what it's going to be. All righty, let's get this on. All right, so then oh, I have one more. Sorry, right, guys. <laughs> I thought it was done. It's just really sweet little like that. And here's that same little bird like that, too. Maybe this one and a butterfly. Oh, he's going the wrong way. Going the wrong way. Ah, uh, yes, that, that, and then something down here. This, no. Oh my gosh, I can't believe all this stuff that I have, this particular lace that I have in this jar. Here's more of it, just tons of it. Okay, I'm gonna find something different. Different, different, different. This is what I want. Just cut a little piece of this off. All right, I'll put that here. Put this here. Put the butterfly here. And then maybe a little bow down at the bottom. Okay, so I do want to ink these. <laughs> All right, then one more. Too bad this is the wrong color because that would be so precious there. I probably have white, but what's on my desk, and that's what I'm using today. I'm going to use this. <laughs> and then I have to clean up the avalanche of lace that's... <laughs> Look at this jar now. Yeah, <laughs> it's just... It exploded which is fun because then I can dig through it. It's kind of like a treasure hunt. Like when I go to St. Vinny's and I'm looking and looking and there it is, the thing that I want. And there's my good, my good scissors. Thanks to Felicia, I bought, I bought one pair of these scissors and boy, I love the weight of them. And I bought them for my, um, by my sewing machine. Well, they were so nice and I was finding that when I'm working at my desk, I, you know, want to cut ribbon or something like that. And none of my crafting scissors will do it. So I bought a second pair and I'm feeling very Felicia-like when I do that because <laughs> she loves scissors. And I do have scissors everywhere. Should I put that there? I think I will. <laughs> This has been really fun. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I can cut it back because this is, I'm at 55 minutes, but. All right, so this is what we have so far. This little guy, this one, this one, this will come off. This one, this one. And that's, like I said, a little cluster that I made before. Um, Gail Gustinelli got me going on those. This one 
this one. Oh, it's going to be so nice to have all of these when I um, make a journal and I can just pop them in there. I think this one's fun. This one. I should maybe ink that one. Maybe just go over it a little bit. Oh, that white, you know. Can't have all that white. Nice to know I can still go over it. Maybe I do a little bit to the lace, too. There we go. That makes me happier. <laughs> this one. And this one. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you're doing something crafty today and having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye.